Let's start by warming up our hamstrings. Basically, touch over everything that we're going to be using, that we're going to be focusing on. And because I'm going to focus on our legs and buttocks, I'm going to ask you to warm that up. So hamstring attachment, go slow here. I barely feel it because I do it so much, but at the beginning it was excruciating, so go slow. You're just sitting, rolling on your roller, hamstring attachment, really nice. Then go on to the side of your buttocks, just find the fibers of the muscle and try to follow the fibers. You will feel that bone that's in the middle of your buttocks and usually there's a fiber crossing it. And to the side that hip dip, we're gonna press against that. And there's an area here that's always really sore as well. A few seconds here. Find the areas that hurt a little bit. muscle, that protuberance here, that's really nice to get on. Keep breathing. And now turn around, come into a low lunge, toes tucked under so that you're lengthening your calf, and then place your roller right on your quad, so we're gonna roll over the quad while pressing the floor with the right foot. So we're already having an extension in our groin. This is important. And you're rolling on the quad. Doesn't matter if you feel very little. Keep your toes tucked under. You're going forward, back of the head is lengthened as if something's pulling you from the back of the head. And then go into your hip flexor, so closer to the hip and try different angles to see which one really target what you want to be touching right now. For me, the top of the leg is always really tight. The hip flexor gets tight because it's really weak. So often it's tight and weak. So we do want to work on it to make it stronger. Work on it and release it. Work on it and release it. That should be the cycle to see some improvement because if you never release it, it's just gonna get tight because it responds to a lot of work that it's just not ready for. And then it's gonna be inflexible and then you're gonna push it and you're gonna break it. So make sure you're doing the strengthening, the release, that's the way to make it longer and more stable. And now, I mean, inside of the knee is a great area too. But I wanna spend an inordinate amount here of time. And it's inside of the leg quickly. And now the right hamstring. That already feels so much better, doesn't it? So right hamstring, sit on it. Take your body back and forth. If you want less pressure, just take your hands back. More pressure, take your hands forward. 
Come back in. This feels so weird. Because you're right. You feel a tendon and you feel the bone, your sitting bone. And this gets super tight. And this for me was a revelation, just using the roller here, because it's an area that is extremely difficult to release by yourself, either in self-massage or even when you go to a massage, they don't usually put their elbows into your sitting bones like this. Even the really good deep tissue massage that go into your hamstrings are not really that, they don't go that deep as you can go with the roller by yourself in the comfort of your own home and privacy without nobody touching your bum. So I uh, definitely prefer this method. Now start going towards the outside of the bottom. You can rest your elbow, just try to find the angle. Outside of the buttock, a lot of fibers here, doing all kinds of things. If you do a lot of butt exercises and not much else, you will find that your bottom is extremely tight. And that's not good because it's just gonna cramp and tighten up more. And then it's gonna be more prone to injuries. It should never, ever hurt. Remember to breathe deeply, that's how we're going to get the circulation going into that area, by breathing. That's the reason why they ask you to breathe, is because by breathing, we trigger the blood to flow whole circuits into the area that you're massaging. A lot of the things I say I make up, just to let you know. <laughs> I'm usually quite intuitive and I have done a lot of trainings, so a lot of what I say is true. Now I'll start rotating into the right side, into that lovely hip dip area. and find that fiber that crosses over and that's really really tight and it's really hard to get in there actually i would usually ask you to use a lacrosse ball to get in there but the roller is fine and then we go towards the front and then take that left leg to the front, come into a little lunge, back toes stacked under, and press the floor with that low lunge, in that low lunge, and move on top of the roller. This is not going to put a huge amount of pressure on your quad. It's more about lengthening the inner leg. Hamstring. The hamstring is the vein of everybody's existence. So problematic because it's so weak. And now we're gonna lift that left leg. See, we're already exercising the butt. Stabilize with your abs, with your core, ribs in, and you are rolling forward and backwards. This is already in itself a full body 
exercise. Pressing with the arms, tricep work. You're stabilizing with your core. Head up. Chin towards the chest. Back of the head lifted. And you are rolling in the front of your quad next to your hip until nothing hurts anymore, until basically until you start getting a little bit bored. And now if you wanna just briefly touch the inner knee, that's something we can do some other time. If you have any knee issues or if ever your knee hurts for whatever reason, you spend enough time rolling on not on the knee itself, but on the outside, inside, and it goes away, it's like magic. Just release, release all the fibers around it, and then it comes down. And neck. Let me do this here. This is gonna hurt like hell. I'm just gonna tell you right now. There's a roller on your upper back and we're going to roll slowly. Hold the back of your head. Roll slowly towards the neck. Very slowly. And down very slowly. until you get to that grass strap area, which is usually the, the worst. And now, <sighs> take the roller, basically to your neck, and start lifting the hips until the roller is pressing on the top of your shoulders. It's a bit tricky to get in there, but you will feel it because it hurts a lot, um, try to breathe, try not to cry. <laughs> this is a trapezius. This is why shoulder rubbing feels so good because this area is just criminally tight. And it's not good because it pulls our face down, pulls our shoulders up. It's just so important to relax the trapezius. All right, enough, go to the other side. So turn your neck to the other side. And lift the hips. And it will hurt, so don't stay here for very long. Breathe. We stay 90 seconds in each place, in each point that we're targeting. That's how much it takes to the body to relax. Amazing. We are ready. We are ready to do some specific exercises. So double pigeon. Right ankle on top of the left knee and press. Open that knee, press the knee, press with the knee, you don't need to even hold it. Press the knee towards the foot. So you're pressing down, active, press down. Legs slightly lean forward. Feel that.
we are preparing the hip to work it. It needs to be prepared, otherwise it's just not gonna work. And change legs, so figure four, it's the same thing. Right ankle, sorry, left, left ankle on top of the right knee. And breathe. Very important that you keep breathing, get that blood flowing. Lean forward, keep pressing. Open the legs in a V position. Press the legs towards the floor. Press strongly towards the floor. Active, active, sitting bones on the floor. Hands to prayer and lean a little bit forward. Active legs. I wanna, I wanna see your legs, inner leg, inner thigh very active. Heels pressing the floor, foot flexed. Now one leg forward and the other foot to the groin and lean towards that leg that's forward. Press that leg towards the floor. And the other one, extend the left leg forward, reach towards that leg, don't collapse down, try to reach forward. So even when we're going to focus on lower body, I want the whole body to be warm and active and involved because that's the way the body works. It all needs to be involved. You can't just separate it in little bits. It's all connected. So here we're working upper back a lot, arms, back, back of the hamstring, back of the leg, hips, it's everything. Now coming to all fours, a little bit of cat and cow. Extend the left leg back, toes tucked under, and lift that left leg up. Stay here. Lift that right leg forward, sorry, right arm forward. So you're in a diagonal. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Now hold the foot with the arm. Inner foot is held by the right hand and push against the hand. Push against the hand and change. Extend the right leg back, toes tucked under. Lift that leg. Ribs in. Back of the head is long. Stay here, reach the left arm forward, reach with everything, reach, 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 reach back with the leg, reach forward with the arm, and now bend that leg, grab the inside of the foot with the arm, push the hand with the foot. Into downward facing dog. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see. Go 
down into downward facing dog, press the floor with the sole of the foot going to tiptoes and heels down. Tiptoes and heels down, ribs in. And push, push, push the floor. We are activating our legs like crazy. So with your feet, imagine you're trying to drag the mat wider. So you're trying to stretch the mat to make it wider. So the outer foot is pushing out. And that is gonna really stabilize you and make you work your butt already. Same thing with the arms actually, with the hands, try to make the mat wider. So you're pushing towards the side. And now feet slightly closer together, hip width and raise that right leg up and back and open the hip and twist to the right. So the knee bends towards the back and change legs. Raise the left leg up, feel the extension on the back of the leg and then bend that left knee, push the knee up, 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 up. Raise the right leg again. And come to plank with just one leg. And then bring that knee forward towards your nose and take it back, three leg downward facing dog. Now take that knee to the right elbow, come to plank, three leg downward facing dog. Now take that right knee forward to the left elbow, keep that, and take it back and up. Three leg downward facing. Let's do the same thing on the left side. So feet together, lift. Oh, that's my pumpkin. Lift the left leg up and back. Really lengthen the back of your right leg. Strong buttocks. And now take the knee forward towards the nose, everything forward. So plank, push, lift the leg up, three leg down dog. And take that knee to the left elbow, keep everything up, ribs in. Leg up, three leg down dog. Take the left knee to the right elbow across and leg up, extend everything, extend the leg up and place the leg down. Come forward to a plank, slowly towards the ground, forehead to the ground, push the pubic bone on the floor, Hands on either side of your face, push down and come up to a very easy cobra. Push the pubic bone towards the floor, try to extend the legs towards the back of the room, press the floor with the hands, take the back of the head back and the chin to the chest. Push, push, push and come down. Now bend the knees, push the pubis towards the floor, start reaching the arms back, palms facing down, start raising your head, keep looking down, and now grab the ankles with the hands. And push and raise to Dhanurasana, bow. Push, 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 buttocks work. Push the hands with the ankles. 
strongly. Nothing should hurt. Let's come down and do that again. So forehead on the ground, bend the knees, pubis is pressing towards the ground. Lift the head, lift the arms, palms are facing down. Palms are reaching to catch the ankles and they catch the ankles and the ankles press against the hands. Everything lifts. Try to keep the back as balanced as possible. So nothing is compressing. You want the curve of the back to be equal everywhere. Breathe. Arms come down. Come back to downward facing dog. Lengthen the back of those legs. Raise the right leg back. Stay here, pressing the floor with that left foot, raising that right leg up. Use your buttocks, engage it. Keep pressing the floor equally with both hands. Keep pressing that leg up, up, reach up, reach up, and then bend the knee and open towards the right. Open that hip towards the right. Same thing with the other leg. Raise the left leg, the foot is flexed. Stay here, keep lifting. Three leg downward dog. Push hard on the floor with the right foot. Push hard with the arms on the mat. Weight is distributed perfectly between the arms and the one foot. Keep reaching with the leg that's lifted. Keep engaging that butt, leg very straight, and now bend the knee and open that hip to the side. Breathe very deeply. Come back to downward facing dog. And now raise the right leg and place it forward on your mat. Come into a lunge. First, it's a low lunge. Make sure that you're stable. Use that moment to maybe rest the back knee and straighten it again. Just mobilize those hips and then reach the arms forward and up. Press the ground with both legs. Back leg very straight. Left hip forward, right hip back. Come a little bit deeper. Bend the right knee a little bit more. Reach, reach, reach with the arms up. Now hold the back of the head with the arms, with the hands, and push back with the head. Legs very active. Push back with the head, curve up. Left hip forward, ribs in, straight back leg, and come back to downward facing dog. Raise the left leg back and up. Take the foot forward, low lunge to begin with. In this low lunge, take the back knee down and up a few times. No rush. Keep breathing. Feel that lengthening of your inner legs. Powerful lengthening and strengthening here. Once you're stable, lift the arms up. Forward and up. Back toes tucked under. You're in a high lunge. Take the scapulas up as if your arms are growing from the back. They actually are. Press the ground with the feet. Right hip forward, left hip back. Push the ground with both of your feet. Reach up, up, up with the arms. Back leg very straight. 
very strong. Engage your buttocks. Engage your buttocks. Buttocks of the back leg are so strong. And now take the hands one on top of each other to the back of your head and press the head back. Press the head back. Slightly curve up. Let's come a little bit deeper. Keep the back leg very straight. Slightly curve upwards. And come down to downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank. Come down to the floor. Come down to Sphinx. Bend the right knee towards your buttocks and hold that ankle with the right hand, thumb pointing up. So you're gonna hold it on the inside of the foot and the thumb of your hand is pointing up. And press, press that foot, engage your buttocks strongly. You're opening the shoulder at the same time that you're working the buttocks and you're pressing the pubic bone towards the floor and the left hand is supporting you, pressing towards the floor. Change hands, so, Sphinx, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you bend the left leg towards your butt. You take the left arm forward and around until you grab the inner foot, inner left foot. Your thumb is facing up and then you twist your upper body forward again while you press back into that foot with the hand, foot pressing towards the hand, right hand pressing, right forearm, strongly pressing towards the floor, buttocks engaged, pubic bone, strong on the floor, pressing. Very good. Both hands to either side of your chest, cobra, drag yourself forward. Top of the feet pressing towards the ground. Breathe. Very strong. Very strong buttocks, very strong upper body. Back muscles are very active. Try to get the scapulas together, elbows in and in. And now downward facing dog. Now from downward facing dog, we are going to come right away to half moon. So what we're gonna do is make sure that you're pressing, yeah, that you're pushing equally on your hands and on your feet. Are you active? Question yourself. And then I'm going to ask you to step the right foot at a, like two feet distance of your right arm and then we're going to lift all our left side of the body to come into Adha Chandasana. So this is very simple. Just take your right foot a few steps forward and then you're coming up, twisting up, open, lifting that left arm up, lifting that left leg up, you're in half moon. Press the floor with the right foot and the fingertips of the right hand. Really reach that left leg, back of the room. The scapulars are active. The scapulars are drawing that arm up. Work that leg, that leg is stabilizing you, it's strong, it's working strongly. The leg that's on the ground and the leg that's floating is reaching back, reaching back. Expansion, take as much space as you can. Imagine you're trying to fill in the room with your limbs. Flex that foot that's lifting. Flex the foot, flex the foot. And then come down to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Bend the knees, just forward fold. Come back 
to downward facing dog. Same thing on the other side. So take your left foot close to the left hand, step it forward and then open up, take that right arm forward and up, use your back muscles and then lift the right leg also, you're in half moon. Push the floor with that left leg, see if you can straighten it. And really think of expansion, expansion, expansion. Take the head beyond the hand, extend that right leg towards the back of the room and up. And the movement is coming from your hip, so you're engaging the buttocks and that's what's taking the leg up. Imagine there's so much space inside your hip. You're trying to reach, reach, reach that foot. Flex the foot now, flex the right foot. And now you're trying to reach with the heel. Reach with the heel, now point the foot, reach with the foot. Feel all of the muscles in your leg working strongly. Reaching up with the hand too. This is a strong move. And come into a fold, fold, fold. Fold, fold, bend your knees, straighten your knees. Grab your elbows. M move, anytime you need to move, I don't need to tell you. You move, you move, you release. It's so fundamental that you do that. So keep it dynamic, bend, release. Even when you're in a balance, you should be dynamic because the whole body is constantly moving little muscles, adapting to the posture so that you don't fall. So really your body is moving, your body is not still. So feel free to sway like a tree in the wind. It's not still, it's not static. Even when you're on one limb, you can be moving. <sighs> Exhale. Bend the knee, lengthen the knee, bend the knee, lengthen the knee. Now take your hands to your calves, to the back of your ankles, and bend forward while taking your shoulders towards your back so the shoulders are away from your head. Take the shoulders away from your neck, roll them back. So we're rolling the shoulders back and down. Shoulders back and down. The movement is coming from the center of your back, your back muscles. And now push the legs and lengthen forward. Your body is parallel to the floor. And now we're going to place, place both of your hands just a little bit forward, like one palm distance forward of your feet. And now we're going to just bend the knees just a little bit so you don't lock them. And now with the leg straight, we're going to elevate that right leg to the right. So the right leg elevates to the right. Very, 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 very slowly. And then down. Again, weight on your left foot. The right leg elevates, raises to the right. Back of the head long, back of the neck long, and down. Ribs in. Now same thing on the left leg. So weight on the right foot and raise, open that left leg straight to the side. This is extremely hard. And leave it there for a few seconds, if you can. And bring it down. Again, left leg is going to raise up to the side, up to the left. 
few seconds and bring down. That was just the last effort. Now come to the floor, knees on the floor. Lie on your back. Lie on your back. Stretch everything. Reach, reach up with your hands. Reach away with your feet, ribs in. Back of the head, long, long, long. Now, bring the right knee towards the chest. And as far up as you can while you extend the left leg. The left leg is pressing towards the floor. Now you hold the heel of the right leg, right foot, and you open into like a half happy baby. Half happy baby, the right leg is bent towards us and you're pressing with the heel to the hand. Very nice. Straight, and now grab the big toe of that right leg and if you want, you can extend that leg out or stay in the half happy baby. As you're extending the leg, I want you to press that big toe into the hand. And now change legs. Extend that right leg on the floor and press against the floor. Take this left leg, knee bends towards you, towards the chest. If you want, you can come to half happy baby, so you're lengthening even more. Active pose. So as the hand is pushing you in, your leg is pushing out towards the hand. This is the key so we can become more flexible. This isometric hold. Now take the big toe and that left leg, if you want, is going to open towards the left side as the right hand counterbalances, opens towards the right side. But I need your hips to be still facing up and your right leg to still be completely lying on the floor, touching the floor completely. If not, stay in happy baby. <sighs> Lengthen the back of your neck, just reposition it a few times. Chin towards the chest, ribs in. Both knees in, little twist to one side and the other. So take the knees, bend to the right, and then to the left, dynamic twist. To the right, and then to the left. Press the floor with the back of the hands to stabilize you. Stay on that left side. Breathe. And now take the legs to the right. Easy twist. Stay. Legs on that right side and breathe. And we're done. So you feel free to rock forward and up or, or if you want to be more chill, just roll to one side and then push yourself up with the hands. I like to risk it. Thanks for joining me. You've just done a really meticulous 
comprehensive full body focus on the lower body session so i hope you liked it and i hope you feel good after this let me know what you feel let me know if you have any other requests and well done i'll see you tomorrow